Boy, oh boy. It's been a while. I'm going to switch some gears and move on to RC paint. Alright, so this video is only going to be about one thing. One helpful tip. <clears throat> Alright. Here's the tip. When you're painting these foam planes, okay, the foam doesn't like to let the paint stick. If you don't want to rip everything off, you take your fresh piece of foam, or not foam, <laughs> your fresh piece of tape or lining tape, just like you would a car. And you take this, it's, it's sticky, right? It's going to pull the paint off this foam. What you do is you take it, lay it on your shirt, move it, lay it down again, move it, lay it down again. The tape picks up the felt and the fibers, makes it less sticky, but sticky enough to where you can lay it down on your plane and not pull the paint back off after you paint it or airbrush it. <clears throat> All right. So I said one tip. Another tip. I've watched a couple videos of uh, some folks airbrushing some planes. And the other tip I can tell you, turn your air pressure down and run less paint. Just like you're painting a car, you're going to put more coats. You're not going to put one heavy coat and do light, light, light coats until you get it the way you want it. So don't overdo it, don't rush it. Don't forget to put the tape on your shirt. That's your tip of the day. <laughs>